In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can quickly add some animations to your debut theme homepage. So there you are sitting looking at your page and it's pretty boring, static. You go to other themes, there's text flying around and things are moving and you are sad about it. So I got you. Don't worry, I am going to show you some tips here quickly to put some more life on this homepage. So like I said in the title, you can do this in five minutes. So let's get into it quick. And what you're going to do is first go to Google and just put in AOS animation. This is a library you can use for animations and I don't remember the URL I always get to it like this so this is a library you scroll down it shows you all kinds of effects that you can implement and you know it's called animate on scroll so this is only going to happen as you're scrolling so all kinds of animations here alright so all the way down you will see some instructions about how you can add this to your website. Uh, you can download the files and stuff, but the easiest way is to just to have the links for the CDN. So first, copy this first link for CSS. Go to your site. We are going to go into the code area. you see in this section you might be familiar you might not be familiar but in here you will go into theme.liquid and down here if you scroll down look for a closing head tag this is going to be right around here you see this so there's a starting tag on top and there's a closing tag so right before this we will paste that link we just copied and also then we need the other links this is the JS link copy this back this time go all the way down and now we're looking for this slash body closing body tag right before that paste this and then one last thing copy this from here again go back And right after that hit enter and paste that and hit save so now you have the library available to you on your website now how we get that to work it tells you right here you can apply all these these data attributes depending on what kind of animation you want so you could study more about this library there's more here so what I'm going to do is I want to apply an effect to this hero image this text right so I want this to kind of fade down kind of come in and so first you need to find out whichever element you're trying to apply the animation to you need to get a feeling of what you're looking for by the way this is a dev tool with Chrome if you're in a different browser you might have something else very useful and as you hover over these tags you can see there's this hero inner so this is your main image but this part here is this hero inner so that's what we're looking for copy that from there go back and then we are going to go in here into the sections area into hero.liquid do control F search for that and in here we are going to copy say it is fade up oops okay found it fade down so copy that go back and you will put that right here so it has its closing uh, opening and closing quote so make sure you have both and then save 
and now I'll go to the site and refresh so you have an animation on one of these elements now let's do a bit more and next what you can do is um, so you might, might have seen as you scroll like some elements come in slide down or you know some, come from the left or right so we can do something similar on this element right here and what we need now is same thing like before um, let's find out where we can find this guy so this is what we're looking for is a feature row is this section there's this feature item is and then next to it is this feature row text this area so we're gonna find this one first um, so go back in the sections and then in here you will see feature row dot liquid and in here same like before let's search for this so there is your feature row so you will see multiple so make sure you're getting the right one so there was this item then the next one was the text one they're right next to each other so we are gonna do this one first so same way I want this one to say what else is here fade up fade down I want this to do a fade right now if you know you can control these um, placements from the customization area if your image is to the right and you want it to come from the right and then then you're gonna have fade right so I am going to paste that in here again make sure there is space after this make sure you close these tags you could leave this one open and it can break your code easy to fix but I don't want you guys to break your code so that's it I put that in there I am going to save and let's see I refresh uh, that one is working look at that you see the image came from the left so that is working let's get this completed we don't want just the image coming I want this to move too so I want this one to come from the right side so same way we'll go back in here so the next one was this area and in here I am going to paste that make sure spaces are there quotes are there and this one I'm going to do fade left save again why I scroll back up every time is because the animation is on scroll you come down and it's gonna scroll in so you see that and then let's hide this you go down you see that image coming you see that coming um, so this area here mine's pretty blank yours might be full of text your image might be smaller so I, I totally think this image of mine here I mean I this, did this for testing so it doesn't look that great because of this white space um, this for you it might look even better so so again you get to the site that is moving you start to, the visitor starts to scroll down and you can see this text moving and same way there is so many more effects here that you can apply play around very simple it also has some more attributes you can add to control these animations so it's pretty cool like here you can control durations and stuff on these two like more and more there's easing and so there's more attributes same way you'll apply 
to any element you want and it can be controlled so that's it just like that you have some life on your debut theme homepage now if you waited for the bonus tip my friends here it is so you say don't want to deal with this library you don't want to copy all that code in there so a very quick change you can make to give this hero image a bit more of an effect so the effect i'm going to apply is it's called parallax and it's uh, gonna be very easy to implement actually so what you need to do is same way we need to find this area for the image so you see this area down here we need to find this hero area and let's go back in the code and we're back in the hero image area and it is I think it was around line 69 right here and you see all this different data attributes so what you're gonna do is in here you see where the style is background position this and there's the semicolon and the quotes click in here and then we are going to type in background attachment colon give it a space and then fixed and then same way you see the semicolon you can just close that with semicolon so this here is basically what you're adding in this area now save go back to our site okay so now look at this scroll down do you see the difference how the image is there I'm sure you've seen this effect on different sites your image just stays there while everything else so people like this effect and you see how quickly you can just implement that on that image so there is your bonus tip you're gonna apply that with this one little change and you will at least have some more life on your hero image up here and uh, that's it for uh, this video please show some support like the video if you like the content please subscribe so i get some motivation and i continue to make these videos for you guys thank you and have a good day